the movement for the survival of the Aizen ethnic nationality in the Niger Delta has called on the federal government to collapse the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and allow citizens to come up with a constitution that will serve the interest of all Nigerians. Mosi End made this call in Yenagua, the Bayos state capital, through its national president, Kennedy Tonjo West, while joining other Ijo sons and daughters to celebrate Isaac Burrow, a former Niger Delta freedom fighter who fought against oppression and marginalization of his people. West spoke on a wide range of issues bedeviling the country, saying that the way forward is to set aside in 1999 constitution. He also called for proper funding for the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. If we are all not comfortable, how long will we continue to condone, to tolerate, to endure this? Let this 56th Borough's Day anniversary be sent as a signal to the corridors of power that all seem to be well, but all is not well. And that there is an extent to which the Ijo people will endure and they will no longer endure. Amnesty is not an answer to the problem of the people of the Niger Delta. If we want to talk about issues and to point to the federal government that they are unfair to the people of the Niger Delta, we will use the NDDC as a test case. Where the NDDC will be 25 years next year, which is a silver jubilee. And for 24 years, the federal government have not contributed our own equity contribution into the system. That is an example of marginalization, corporate marginalization. Even if we commend Mr. President for giving us the right choice of people in this present NDDC board, we will also urge the federal government, put money into the system. Put money into the system. Let them start working. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.